Hello everyone, Classic Tractor Professor. Welcome back to the channel. Last week when we were getting ready to go to Fairview for the two-cylinder show, I kind of left y'all with a little teaser about our new tow rig to pull our tractors with. So, uh, what we got is a 74 GMC. Started out life as a three-quarter ton, two-wheel drive, just a regular pickup. Sometime, at some point in time in somebody's life, sorry about the glare off the clouds here, sometime in its life it has been converted over to a dually with a camper built on it. It has a custom built job, but they did really good on it. It had a 350 with a four speed in it to begin with. You know, 350s were good engines, but wouldn't work very well for this thing because it's pretty heavy so why they did it this way I don't know if it had been me I'd have pulled the, four, or the 350 out and put a 454 in it direct bolt in swap but they took it one step further they put a 455 Oldsmobile in it and I'm telling you this thing will flat run about 55 is about top end because it's it's screaming at 55 with that 4 speed behind it but it'll get there quick so Let's walk down here and we'll have a look at it. Take a walk through. Follow along. All right, let's walk down here and have a look at it. We'll have to make this pretty quick because as you can see, I'm on call this weekend and I'm recording this off my phone. And if I'm recording, the phone doesn't record or doesn't ring. So we'll have to make this a pretty quick walk through, but it should be all right. But there it is. When we bought it, it was, and actually we didn't buy it, I traded that little 8 in Ford tractor right there for it, but clutch went out in it, so I gotta put a clutch in it for the old boy. But anyway, back to what we're looking at here. When we got this, it had been sitting about six years or so, we got it running and cleaned it up pretty nice. It, it was originally, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but it was originally orange, Somebody repainted it blue and did a pretty good job of it. But as you can see, they come in and cut the back of the cab out and built the camper onto it, riveted everything in, did a really nice job of that. So, around here to the front, we'll get this hood open. We'll look at what's under the hood. If I can get it one handed. Yeah, nope. Okay, just one second. Okay, sorry, had to use both hands to open the hood. Anyway, we got a 455 Oldsmobile in here. And it cranks up and runs pretty good. Got a Holly carburetor on it, which I'm not too impressed with. Might change that one of these days, I don't know. I have to have some new tires on it before long. These have got quite a bit of tread left on them, but I was checking the dates on them the other day when i was checking the air and everything in them before we took it to the lake and they're 18 years old so a little storage compartment under the back back there and i got some parts in here for it the brakes need some serious attention so on the front i ordered new pads and bearings and hubs and all that for it but we hadn't hadn't got that far yet they actually sent me the wrong bearings is one of the reasons i haven't got it done yet but anyway they sent me bearings for a half ton instead of a three quarter and it's got a stove in it it works how did all this fall down Hmm, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, nope, that's the back. Well, darn it. This is live, folks. <laughs> there. That goes there and that goes there. All right. And that one's supposed to set up like that. A little seating area back here table got some storage up here we keep our fishing poles and stuff in 
clothes rack there. Well, clothes closet in here. Heater. I gotta take the heater out. I checked it all over the other day. It's full of mud dauber nests, so we gotta take care of that. Probably won't ever use it where we camp at, but it does have a nice new microwave in it. Refrigerator, I have not tried to see if it works yet or not. We just use it for storage. And the sink, it works. There's no hot water or nothing, but there's a hose that comes off of this faucet, goes underneath, you hook your water to. And then the drain set up, kind of redneck, but it works. Five gallon gas can with the drain hose going into it. So that works. And this door here, there's bathroom with a console toilet. The bed above the cab. So, cabinets up here that keep all of our dishes and coffee pot and all that in. Most of that stuff's in the house. We Okay, sorry about that little glitch in the video there. Evidently when I'm recording my phone will ring. I didn't think it would, but a buddy of mine called and had some important stuff he wanted to talk about. So anyway, that's what that little glitch was, was when the phone rang. You can see go ahead and continue our tour here. Underneath here, I'm not gonna open it, but there's a storage compartment underneath there. Keep some utilitarian stuff in. And, ow, damn sticker in the floor too. Oh, damn that hurt. Ouch hate them things anyway so and then like i said there's storage compartment here we're gonna before we take it anywhere too far with the trailer behind us i'm gonna rebuild this hitch it's as you can tell it's kind of cobbled together and it's not real sturdy so we're gonna do a little something different with it probably build a heavy duty bumper across the back and might make it stick out far enough I can mount my generator and everything on here. So Anyway, it's propane tank goes in there and vent for the heater and refrigerator. Got to open the cab up. A little dirty right now from our trip to the lake. Pretty nice seats in it. Not sure what those came out of. But they're comfy. I mean, as you can see here, they they done a real nice job cutting the cab out. Putting all that in. I was really impressed. The dash and everything was in pretty good shape for being a 74. Not cracked or nothing. Four speed in it. If you're wondering what this is, these are neat. If you guys have anything that sets around or whatever, these things are pretty neat. Let's see if I can find the. Yeah, I think I already threw the box away, but. What they are is a uh, solar panel. And you can see I've got it stuck to the windshield up here. And you just stick that up there and plug it in. It's got two ends that go on it. And they plug into this little connection here. As you can see, it's green because it's working. It's charging. But one end, you can plug into there, plugs into the cigarette lighter. And charges that way and the other end goes directly on your battery so that's those are pretty neat but anyway let's just try it may be kind of hard to start it's been sitting there for oh four or five days i was driving it back and forth to work but this week i've been taking the pickup so we'll see if it'll see if it'll crank over mm, tried Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Remind me of an old Uper song. There we go. That a baby. An old, not very often you see that anymore. An old fashioned cassette player, and it works. I don't have a cassette in here right now. Good sound system in it. Because away it pretty good sound system. 
Anyway, it's got, I don't know how many miles it's got on it. The odometer stuck at 50,000. It rolled over the other day, but the 50 didn't. So I don't know how many miles it's actually got on it. But it doesn't run too bad. Air conditioner, I think, with a little bit of a Freon charge would probably work. It's got a little mist to it until it gets warmed up. Bit of an exhaust leak. I think it's coming out of one of the manifold gaskets down there. It's got a little pop to it. Nothing major. A dual exhaust on it. So, anyway. Anyway, that's our new camper rig. Be doing some work to it here before long. I have some videos on that doing the wheel bearings and the brakes and whatnot. I get ready to build that new hitch. If I do it myself, I'll I'll be sure and record that for you. I may have a welder buddy of mine that he's a little slow at his shop right now. He might need some some work done. I might let him do it. Give him a little extra money. I've got too many projects. Just not enough time to get them all done so we've got a suburban sitting out here we got to put a motor in and two or three tractors we need to get running if we can ever get parts for them this back order stuff's about driving me nuts tried to order a carburetor kit for my john deere a the other day and nobody's got one steiner yesterday's they've got the basic kits yesterday's tractor but they don't have any comprehensive kits Steiner doesn't have any. J and D doesn't. So, all states. I don't. I don't even think they did. So anyway, that's is what it is. I guess we'll get one eventually. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this tour of our new truck. And if y'all like this channel and like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want. You can go ahead and hit the like button if you like this video or. Other than that, just hope everybody has a wonderful rest of the weekend. We'll catch you all in the next one.